Hello, everybody, and welcome to a barrel roll playcast for Planet Coaster. I'm Nick, and I'm here to do something I have been wanting to do for a long, long time, which is build a whole park. Uh, go big, you know, go go hard, go solid, um, do the whole thing. So here's how I started doing this. I, I built the first two buildings in my park. I actually built the whole park, and then I built the first two buildings. Um, and then I decided that I was going to build, you know, each building kind of secretly and, and, and that kind of thing, which I'm still going to do. I'm still going to show you guys the video of just me building that particular building. Um, but I pre-filmed it. And I'm like, I'll, I'll edit the whole video and I'll do all this stuff and I'll, I'll do like time lapses without me talking and you know without me doing this and this and this and this and everything else. And in my brain, it was a great idea. And now that I come to do something like that, it's, it's like, oh, I forgot all the things I was going to say. I forgot all of the... Um, you know things I was I was going to do. I forgot. I forgot everything. Um, well, I didn't forget. It's just it's not working out the way I fully intended for it to work out. Um, so what I'm gonna do? <laughs> this is how I'm gonna do it. You're gonna kind of be part of the editing process with me. We're going to um, I'm gonna go through my first video here and play through it at like double speed, and we'll see how this goes. And I'll I'll talk about it as we're going. Um, as that happens, uh, I'll talk over the video and we'll do it that way. When I get past the second, uh, second video that I've done with my second building, I'm going to start doing these as live as possible and or record it at least with me, you know, building. So my head will be facing this way and, um, which really I should be doing it somehow this way or move this, move this circle that way. Uh, but either way. We're going to go through this as fast and as fast as we possibly can. So I'm Nick. Welcome to the Barrel Roll Playcast for Planet Coaster. And I'm just going to press play on this thing and we'll see how well this works. Here we go. So uh, hopefully, like I say, this should be at a, uh, a faster speed. Um, we'll see how this <laughs> all turns out. I'm really sorry about this one. I... It's as you're doing these things, you kind of go, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and it's gonna be great. And uh, it, it didn't quite turn out that way. Uh, the, the thought process in my head didn't quite translate to what appears on screen. So here's the, the layout up for my first building. What I did in the park was I've laid out all the buildings, what I want to do with all the buildings, um, how I want all of the buildings to, um, to appear, how I want all of the buildings to um, be laid out. The big ticket here, I guess, is um, I didn't decide what any of the buildings were really going to be until um, this piece, until I started building. So this is the first building in my, um, this is the first building on my main street in my park. My park is very Disney-centric because why mess with gold? You know, um, if you if you study, uh, that's a that's a geekism thing. Um, I stole straight from Jaunty for scale. Use the archer. He's you know relatively the same kind of size as the as the peeps. So uh, he uses an archer. I'm like, oh, I watch so much geekism. I love him. I need that. Either way, um, my why mess with a good thing? If Disneyland parks are you know the way to be, go with the Disney park. Do the do the big thing. You know, like why mess with a uh, why mess with a good thing? Is really my. Oops, I'm zooming in too much. There we go. Uh, why mess with a good thing is really my, my big question. So here I, I've, I've taken down what I've built because what I built was legitimately just for space, you know, to, to measure space out. I didn't want to fully build anything until I was on camera. So now is putting down the foundation, which I've done, um, using that stucco wall uh, to. to, to uh, build my building. So there's there's the basic shape of my building. Um, I did have a picture of the Emporium on Main Street, again, Disney, as kind of a guide to what I was going to do. Um, 
so I did. I had this guide that I was, uh, you know, or not a guide, but a, a picture, a general picture, kind of like, as an idea of what I wanted to do with my with my space. Um, so yeah, that's that's what you have uh, have going on right there. Um, I've got two screens going <laughs> at the same time uh, as I'm trying to explain my pro thought process. Uh, what I just did there was I extended it. I had it as a as a half wall. Um, I hate building half walls, so I went full wall, and I wanted this. Thing, this building to be a, a main staple of what you first see when you kind of come onto Main Street. And so I made it big, I made it bold. Uh, you might have caught a bit of the park there. Um, it, whoopsies. Uh, there, I took a break because my camera controls were doing something and I was trying to figure something out. It just wasn't working. I'm going to speed this up a little bit more, even. Um, Oh, no, now it's too fast. Now we're just, we're being jumpy. Slower. Slower. Yeah, still jumped around too much. All right. Ah, sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the process with me. Double speed now. Um, so what we got going on here is, yeah, me building the the exterior to the to the building. Um, I'm just trying to get that foundation in. In front of this building is going to be a large flower bed, uh, which is why I wasn't really caring about what happened on the the side over um, here. Look, I have two mice. So over here, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't really care what was going on because I'm going to cover that with a flower bed and flowers, and you're never going to see that. And again, one of those things that I I took from Disney is the, if you don't see it, don't bother, you know, um, decorating it. You know, go go for what people are going to see. What are people going to notice? What are people going to observe? What's going to be the, um, the visible things that you want people to see and notice and do? So that's, that's kind of what I was aiming for. And I was going through all the new pieces because I just got the World Fair stuff that I haven't played around with yet. That's what I'm doing right there um, <laughs> with the candy shop. Uh, circle window because I'm like, oh, what if I, what if I did, what if I put it up against the wall and that looked really cool? So then I found the square windows. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh. And this building just wasn't the right shape for those windows, um, because again, if you've ever seen the Emporium in Disney, they have big, big windows that have these really cool displays built into them. And that was something that I kind of wanted to do. Um, so there they are. Those are my window displays. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> um, that's them. So I'm going to uh, find some stuff now with the Thememakers Toolkit out to put in the windows to make them look a little fancier. I can obviously change them for the seasons, uh, Christmas or, or you know whatever holiday happens to be coming around. Um, again, the awnings are another contributor from um, Disney. Uh, if you look at the Emporium, they have the, the awnings on top. Um, but again, I didn't just want to go with... Uh, with a like huge huge thing and just make it look exactly like the Emporium because there's people online who are doing that already they're making Disneyland parks so I didn't want to do that um, I wanted to build something that was at least kind of my parkish not you know completely Disney parkish and here I started I'm like well I got the concrete at the bottom which I've now completely covered up on this side and the other side except the back side and the you know um, with that going on. So like all down here is that, that cement. You can see it right there. Um, the cement there. I've covered it all up. That's just a foundation. So I'm like, oh, what if I played around with cement pillars? What if I played around with cement? So like, let's get some more of this cement stuff going. Um, so I'll completely block off the door. Um, yeah, this was to, I wanted to create an awning of sorts, an entranceway, if you would. Um, so again, using thinner columns that I could find and then getting rid of the walls to make my to make kind of my entrance um, and then this just became a you know what to do for a roof and so we had to do main things off um, I hope we got rid of the archer I'm trying to think now if I actually did or not I guess we'll see at the end of the video together it'll be a mystery uh, I'll laugh if he's still there um, yeah, then just finding the right, you know, uh, 
uh, fencing for that kind of thing? Do they want a fence? Do they just want to be like an overhang with you know other other um, other things going on? What was going to be the whole? What was going to be the shtick? You know, what was going to be the the overall look and feel of this place? And eventually, I, I kind of I found a combo between stucco and um, stucco and concrete to kind of be the main focus of this building. Uh, so I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to go with stucco, I'm going to go with concrete, and we're all going to be happy people, and that's how it's going to work out. Um, again, just uh, an aesthetic look and an aesthetic feel, and again, if you're on the back side of this building, it looks completely different than um, the front side of this building. So it's one of those pieces where um, in the end I might come back to this building because it was one of the first buildings I did for this park. Um, but for now, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, what I wanted to do was try and get, yeah, again, playing with, um, you know, oh, for this roof here. And then I'm like, well, I've already got tiles made up if you look at the squares there. So I went in with smaller squares, tried to make it as level as possible, changed the color so it looked like, you know, it's kind of the, the, the things we were working with. And again, here's my thing when it comes to the, the top parts of buildings is if you're doing, again, I always go back to Disney, but if you're over the park and you, you've got this bird's eye view, you still want that part of the park to be good looking. Um, you know, especially with things like Google Maps and anything like that now that takes an image like that. If this were a real park, you want the top part to look real. You want it to look like it exists. All of a sudden, it just doesn't hit the top of a building and goes, oh, we're done. Um, there are certain parts. So yes, my, my big standout thing here now is the, the clock tower. That is the, the big, you, the, one of the first things you see as you enter is the, this clock tower. And it's like, yeah, I love this clock tower. Um, and I like the top part of this building, which was obviously the, um, the haunted house roof, but I found it didn't quite fit. Um, so then it came down to building a roof. And it's been a long time since I played Planet Coaster to this extent. Um, where all of a sudden I'm like, okay, time to move everything in, and that that wasn't that wasn't working that well. That wasn't. It was uh, it was a little bit off. It was a little bit off to the side and here and there and everywhere. Um, so I decided just to move the top because those display windows are you know that big big piece of things that it's like oh yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. the awnings all of a sudden were off. So I'm like, if I just move the top, it doesn't look any different. So I moved the top. I moved the tower in. And again, that offsets it as something that is completely separate from the rest of the building. Um, and then here I figured out that my corner idea wasn't working, so I had to duplicate it four times to get the corners in there, and lo and behold, I have myself a bit of a roof. And now let's work on all my corners. Um, again, something that's a limitation to planet coaster and not a limitation to what I would do in real life is obviously that corner would be another special piece um, and then I goofed up again because it's like oh yeah that's a corner um, always forgetting where corners were fitting pieces in trying to get roofs done um, roofs have always given me a hard time in this game I've never liked doing them they've always kind of angered me in some way shape or form Mostly because of what I just did there on the the light on the, the, the clock tower is what most roofs end up looking like, and I went, well, that doesn't actually look half bad. And again, if you can't see it from the front or the back, what's going to be the you know overall problem? Um, and then here here I did a, if I'm if I'm level with the archer and I'm looking back and I'm looking back and I'm looking back then uh, you know oh you can still see that part of the roof so that's not good I need to to, to reformat that um, you know, how am I how am I going to do this roof um, and I found it <coughs> Ta -da. oh that's right I didn't like that one I was I went all the way back 
and redid everything uh, to try and find a roof that matched, and then I did finally find the roof that matched. So here we go again, putting the roof back on um, this building. And again, playing with the roof is not something that I'm overly fond of doing, so th this this was a bit of a challenge um, to get this done. So uh, again, here we go, putting a roof on to a building that I wasn't really all that enthralled with. Um, you know, trying to figure out, oh, yeah, there's there's pieces for things and, and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, there's a corner. Let's get these back in. Um, and thankfully, like, having done them once and done them again, it kind of, you know, it goes pretty quick after you've done it once or twice. Um, kind of figuring out where stuff goes and this and that and everything else, and then me going back to the back and... In all honesty, again, here I'm looking at, oh, do I have to spend that much time on the back end of this building? No, I don't, because no one's going to see it. It's not something that people are really going to to see, but they are going to see a giant hole in the wall if they go into the actual store, so let's change that up and make that pretty. Um, so there's that. Now we're yeah, checking it out, making sure it's good on the inside. Thankfully, none of... I, I do pass through the, the, the building building, or the building's building quite often. Um build ourselves some nice little architectural things to break up the walls apart a little bit and then I really wanted them for the clock tower so you could tell like this is the tower this is where the structure for the tower is this is where the structure for the building is um, obviously I didn't want to go all the way up with them and again I'm hiding that back end of the building it doesn't matter if that corner goes all the way around because you're not going to see it I'm gonna make sure you're not going to see that side of the building and if push comes to shove and you ever need to see that side of the building, I can add stuff to that side of the building. Um, but I do intend for that to be like back, the staff only area sort of thing. Um, I really do wish, and I know you can do it with the, the curbs, uh, stop people from going through certain things um, and just have employees going through certain things, but I really do wish that um, um, you could make just employee only areas or employee only roads like Park and Tech does that and you can make employee only roads and go that way. Again, looking for the right kind of awning. What can I do for an awning? Um, how can I make it look good? Um, figuring out what that piece does and then remembering what that piece does because it goes on the roof. You know, can I put those pipes all the way up? Is that going to look half decent? Does that look gross? It looks gross. I'm not going to do that. What if I played with these things? You know, is that going to help me in any way, shape, or form? You know, is that too big? Is that too thick? And then uh, it, I figured if I just did them at the back and it was kind of just supported at the back somehow, that that would be good enough. I thought would for a bit. Uh, but I think I land on just nothing being there to support that part of the roof at all. Um nothing quite worked and looked good still like I say I might still change that part of the whole thing I this is what I did I added a joint um, just to make it look like you know it was somehow holding on to the wall oh nope apparently I decided against that Eh, this is why I shouldn't record these things without talking at the same time, because I have no idea what I was planning anymore. Um, I, I literally, I was going through everything in my mind just to try and, and put something in there that would work. I finally, uh, look, that's the point. That's right there. I just, I'm like, screw it. It can, it can hang, it's a free hanging roof piece. And now it was just putting in um, the rest of the building. windows in, making sure they're kind of level. Uh, I wanted the, the, the tower to be different, so I, I changed the tower up. I even changed the color of the tower so it was a bit darker. So again, it stood out because I wanted it to be that thing that you, you saw when you walked in. Um, and then just a matter of let's start decorating the, uh, start decorating the, uh, the walls a bit. Just trying to see how much time is left before I... And my plan was just a memento is going to be on the inside. So let's put some signage. Um, 
if you're part of our Discord, I, I posted the picture of this 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 shot sort of thing with just a memento and the, the clock tower. Um, again, I this is where I kind of undisneyfy myself. Is Disney goes for that? This is a realistic Main Street, you know, like this 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 nice. I'm like, you know what? Let's put some advertising in here. Like, we want just a memento. It's gonna have just a memento at the top, and it's gonna be bold and it's gonna be big, and we're gonna go, you know, kind of gaudy with it in a sense um, as opposed to something again like Disney where they would subtly put something in you know the, the windows on Main Street are a, a good example of that at Disneyland where it's like oh aren't these lovely on, on Main Street these lovely lovely windows uh, with people's excuse me people's names on them that kind of stuff um, and then it was a matter of again looking for different shops so you know, if we're going to have a big store, I want people walking out with more than just mementos. I want, like, or a bag or whatever they walk out of just mementos with. Let's put, you know, the balloon shop in. I think that's a balloon shop. Um, let's put that in so when they come out of that door, it'll always be kind of a surprise as to what they what they have. Um, so there we go. That is uh, the, the building that I want to pause before I get too far because ladies and gentlemen I do show off part of the park in this video so I'm gonna hit back to normal speed and if I see myself doing anything stupid um, I'll revert back but uh, really hold on let's go back to here there that's it that's my my lovely gift shop just a memento that it'll be at the front of my Main Street Park in my first planet coaster, my full planet coaster park. I have over a hundred buildings to do and I want them all to be individual. This is without even rides. I just have my lands planned out and what I want in them. Um, so without even doing rides, I have over a hundred buildings to do. Some are gonna be really big, some are gonna be really small. This is kind of an in-betweener. Um, next up in another episode of The Playcast and Planet Coaster, I will be building a diner-esque type place for burgers and ice cream, I believe, is the, the full extent of what ends up happening. So stay tuned for that. Please check back tomorrow, because I'm going to post it. Then I'm kind of going to start banging these things out solidly for the next little bit. So stay tuned for that, please, and thank you. But yeah, that is my, my, uh, my, my just a memento store, my gift shop for the front of my main street. Um, like I said, this, uh, this awning section here might change right here um, to something else because um, I'm not really it looks better when it's in the thing with the, the flower bed in front and the whole nine yards but again I don't really want to show all of Main Street till I've built all the buildings and then I'll kind of do like a I'll build some extra walls around other things so you can't see everything because I don't want to give away all my plans just yet um, so we'll see how that fits in as the first building and if it doesn't quite fit in um, I'll bring it back in and we'll, we'll play some more with it in the buildings building because that's what I've named this building here it is the oh, it was there for a second you guys saw it hold on check it check it check it the buildings building uh, that's where I build the buildings is inside the buildings building so um, yeah, thanks for watching. Check us out at BarrelRollNews.com. It's written down there. See all of our cool stuff. You can check us out on the newscast every Saturday. And if you're watching this before the end of the year, you can check out our past cast on December 28th, where we're going through all the best and worst of the seasons. Or not the season, but the year. Man, oh man, I gotta get this straight. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Leave some comments. Leave some... Leave some love down in the comment section. Like, subscribe, do all that lovely stuff, and stay tuned because tomorrow there's a there's a burger and and ice cream shop coming your way. I'm gonna film that right now, and then you'll get videos of me actually building the things and talking about them as I'm building them, not just giving you live or pre-recorded stuff and me talking over it or me trying to figure out what I was doing again. So I apologize if this isn't quite what you were expecting, um, but I didn't want to go back and. and deconstruct the, the, the building and kind of put it back together in a way I wanted to, to give you what I did while I did it. And um, again, that's, that's you know, this lovely building right here. This just a memento. Uh, let's get
get one last. Whoop. Yeah. There. That lovely building. Right there. So, with that, everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our website for all the other stuff we do. I've been Nick, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.